Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 6 features, part 5, string interpolation brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn one of the most important features that is string interpolation. Right now, we'll understand how in C Sharp 5, C Sharp version 5, the string interpolation happened. There, we used string dot format to perform string interpolation. But the problem with that was it was a little bit complex to use because you need to match the exact variable name with the sequence to get the expected output. In the sense, this image explains you how in C Sharp version 5 we did string interpolation. Right now, we can observe here there are two variables, name and age, which holds the respective values C Sharp and 16. And what I'm doing, I'm initializing a variable called message and I'm using the string format. Um, and you can observe here I'm having two placeholders which takes the respective variables name and age and the output of this message variable is something C sharp is 16 years old but coming to the other variable wrong message here you should observe carefully what I'm trying to do we are also I'm having two placeholders and here I'm also I'm, I'm also passing the variables respectively but the problem with this is you can observe an unexpected value would get assigned because we have provided the wrong sequence of the variables here the output will be 16 years 16 years C sharp years old and that does not make any sense this is the, this was the problem in the C sharp version 5 if we interchange or if we provided the wrong sequence of the variables the meaning of that sentence would completely change now now let us see a demo of it in the Visual Studio. It's very simple now. Let me create a variable of string type, string name, and add a C sharp. Let me create a variable in the age 16 years, done. And let me take another variable called message. Okay. And let me use string dot format okay now let me you make use of the placeholders is okay one use old okay let me pass the variables respectively to the respective placeholders let me pass name comma age okay let me create another variable like string and this variable name is wrong message without wasting much time let me copy and paste this okay but here what I'm trying to do here is I'm wantedly making a mistake by passing the wrong sequence of the variable okay now let me print these things one is the message variable and the other one is wrong message okay now when I run this program you can observe what it tells the first the first uh, sentence the first variable what you're printing message tells you like C sharp is 16 years old but the wrong message variable tells you like 16 is C sharp years old and thus does not make any sense you can observe C sharp is 16 years old this sentence gives us some meaning but this the second one 16 years 16 is C sharp years old this does not make any sense what was the problem we did we did not as we did not pass the correct sequence of the variables to the respective placeholders and that was the problem and coming back to the presentation and how did C sharp 6.0 6.0 C sharp version 6 uh, uh, cleared this there you can observe we have a clear we have a cleaner way to format a string by writing our own arguments instead of referring to them placeholders in the sense will not make use of placeholders in the C sharp version 6 and other important thing you have to keep in mind is just make sure you use the dollar before the start of the string and to understand that I'm having an image which explains you clearly you can observe here I'm having two variables name and age and I'm creating a variable called message which takes that string um, string and there we are doing string interpolation right now you can understand I'll make use of this dollar symbol and you can observe there are no placeholders instead of that what we are doing is we are directly passing the variables name within the curly braces and this this what the 
the this is what the new feature of C sharp version 6 instead of using the placeholders we are directly passing the variables and that's the advantage why because if we use the placeholders there might be a chance of passing the wrong sequence of variables but here it's strongly strongly recommended and strongly typed such that we are passing the variables directly no chance of passing the wrong sequence of variables to understand it very clearly We'll jump into Visual Studio and let me code it again. Let me remove these some sentences present here. And since it is C Sharp version 6, let me make use of the static classes present there. Okay. Static, let me add a console class. Okay, done. Now I'm having two variables name and age and here let me make use of C sharp version 6 feature C sharp version 6 feature string interpolation so I'll take a message okay message and okay here what I'm doing is I'm using the dollar symbol then I'm using the okay it should be like C sharp version C sharp C sharp is 16 years old so I have to pass the variable name is okay before that I have to pass that between the variables okay let me go and check it back okay instead of here okay let me remove it and let me type it again um, it's la dollar symbol then double quotes open there I have to specify within the braces what is the variable name is the age years old and here you can observe we are not making it to the placeholders instead of that within the curly braces we are passing the variable directly such that we can avoid the wrong passing the wrong sequence of variables now let me go and print it so let me call the right line method sorry and let me pass the variable that is message which is having the content right now when I run this it prints like C sharp is 16 years old and this is the correct way of string interpolation such that will not get any error um, that's what we learnt in this session right now what we'll do is uh, we'll jump back into presentation okay and that's what we learnt and here is the code uh, for C sharp version 5 and C sharp version 6 of the string interpolation. Finally, thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Anchor Training and you can like our Facebook page uh, www.facebook.com slash Training and we are also on Twitter and for further references you can refer our websites and LinkedIn too and finally don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.